Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another video, so let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to be doing 10 things to not do at Oneonta once you get there and, you know, finally get to go to school there. So number one is don't expect your roommate to always be your friend during that year, or at least during the first semester or two. Don't always expect them to be your friend just because I thought going into the year I had a different kind of roommate when I'm a very social person, I like going out, I like trying new things. And my roommate wasn't as much as that. She wasn't as like social as I was, which isn't a problem. We just didn't click as well as I thought we were going to meet. So I ended up having to get uh, an IRP room, which is independent room plan. And I paid extra to live in a room by myself, a double room by myself, which um, ended up working out a lot better for me. I don't know what it is about me. I just like living by myself, but next year I'm going to be living in a suite with a bunch of my sisters and my roommate, who's my friend Amanda. Uh, she's not my sorority. We're gonna have like probably a lot better time just cause we know each other. And number two is during orientation, you will get an Oneonta lanyard. It's up to you to use it, but just know that people will know you're a freshman if you are swinging your lanyard around and have your keys on your lanyard. So what I got was a little like key ring thing where, you know, you use it for hiking. I snapped it on there and I just hooked it onto anything that I was wearing. So, you know, my sweatshirt, I put it on like my key, um, my belt, loops so I would just stick it on anything that I had because it was a lot easier to hold than swing around your keychain plus you know people are gonna know you're a freshman which you know you don't always want that but another thing I highly suggest is to not like to join don't like join a club like don't not join a club or Greek life I highly suggest getting involved with stuff on campus early just because like for me, after the first semester, after a few weeks in, I kind of got bored with not really doing as many things. I didn't, like, have the same group of friends as I did in the beginning of the year just because everyone kind of spaces out, finds their own friends instead of just being friends with the people who live next to you. So, highly suggest getting involved with stuff on campus. Doesn't matter, like, doesn't matter what club it is, you can do literally anything. You can go from Greek life to you know, there's like food clubs, there's literally art clubs, there's anything. There's any kind of club that you could think of pretty much on campus. So I highly suggest getting involved with the things that are going on on campus. Okay, number four, don't only eat at the dining halls. This is something that will make sense to you once you get here. After a few weeks, the dining halls kind of get old. And that's going to be at any school you go to. Uh, the food kind of just gets repetitive. It's not really a bad thing. The food isn't always the best. But, you know, how is just checking out the other places off campus? And, um, you know, there's other places on campus where you can get food that I've found. And other people on campus know about. Um, there's a place called Seasons, which I personally really, really love. You can pretty much get anything there. Like, it's not like anything. Like, I mean, like breakfast, lunch, that kind of thing. They have sandwiches, which I would get, um, what's it called? A chicken pesto sandwich during um, the fall, I think. And it was really, really, really good. Um, and there was chicken. They always have like a chicken sandwich that's going on for whatever season it is. But once you come in, I highly suggest checking out seasons because um, you're going to have you know, dining, whatever, swipes to go to season. So might as well just check it out in the first week, you know, find out what you like. Um, they also have bagels, they have yogurt, um, they have different kinds of soup that's all local. There's also Argo Tea, which you can get tea, you can get like bakery goods there. And like, it's another option from season just because if you don't really like coffee, they have Seasons coffee, but at Argo they have more tea options and they have things going on like monthly and weekly and stuff like that for different kinds of teas. And that's connected to the library, so if you want, you could just grab a quick like croissant or something and bring it into the library and snack on it. 
Um, there's also Mills Market, which you can, they have like, like certain hours where you can go and it, it can go fairly late. Um, and like me and my friends would go and pick up like a slice of pizza. They have pizza, they have sushi, you can get like groceries there, but highly suggest like not buying the fruit from there just because the fruits and vegetables that they have that they sell there seem to go like bad fairly fast and like I don't really trust that like it might be organic so that's why it maybe goes bad faster but for me I usually like to go grocery shopping at Walmart at Aldi at Hannaford and you can get a bus to Walmart and Hannaford um they also have a Starbucks on campus which is the only Starbucks they have in like a 50 mile radius and me and my friends sit in like that lobby area by the Starbucks all the time. It's so convenient and like super nice. I could just pick up my package, get a croissant at Starbucks and a drink and then sit down and like study for hours. So yeah, highly suggest not only eating at the dining halls because it gets old pretty fast. So also don't miss out on the activities going on on campus. So I know sometimes it'll be hard to figure out what exactly is going on on campus because for me, I know it was kind of hard, but you have like um, an event pass thing and it does show a lot of the events that go on, which you'll, you'll download it. It's called the Cork app and you have like a little scanner thing to get into certain events. Um, but during orientation, you'll be able to find that. Um, but also they have like movies going on and they have people who come on campus who like are magicians and they have like comedy shows and like fashion shows and like it doesn't really sound that exciting but like for me going to them it was actually like really really fun and helped me like become better friends with my friends like me and my sisters went and saw like Aquaman and like the movie wasn't the best but also it was like really funny to just go because I wore like a big comfy and we brought food and it was just really nice to be with them and just kind of like laugh at the movie um, but especially during orientation, like, go to the things that are provided for you because I didn't and I should have and, like, I missed out on, like, a comedian and, like, there was a magician thing, guy or something, but you should go. Like, it's actually really fun and, like, you get to know a lot more people than I would have if I had gone. Also, if you are a person who exercises, highly suggest don't stop exercising. They have places in the dorms and they have a gym where you can continually exercise make time for exercise because yes you will be walking a lot on campus because it's a very up and down campus and that's how i got my steps in just walking around campus honestly but you know when you are so close to free food almost all the time at the dining halls you're gonna need to get in your exercise so you you have free options you have to sign up to do one of the gyms i'm pretty sure to like make sure you know the safety and stuff but other than that like honestly take advantage of the free things that you are given on campus because it helps it really does and you won't gain the freshman 15 which is very very real number seven is don't only pack slash like light or thin clothes because yes in the beginning it could be very hot on campus so make sure you have light clothes in the beginning but once your parents come up and like meet you for family weekend if they do um make sure that they take some of your summer clothes with them because it's gonna get like cold pretty fast like by october it was like i was wearing a winter coat uh by halloween um which was not very fun, but um, yeah, uh, make sure you have heavy coats, hat, gloves, like it can get scary cold in the winter. Like um, we had to petition to get school clothes one day because it, the um, wind temperature or whatever, the wind something was negative 30 degrees. The wind chill, that's what it is. The wind chill was negative 30 degrees and school was still open. So we had a petition and we got school clothes, but um, even like the hand warmers, buy a pack of them on Amazon, I did, and I just threw them in my pockets and left and it kept my hands super warm and didn't like give me frostbite on my hands. You're gonna hear this a lot. Don't drink the punch. And I know that sounds really dumb. And if you are a person who makes it, go ahead. I know it's gonna happen. 
but be careful. Be very, very careful because there are people out there who will put things inside the punch or things will fall in by accident. And you don't want to be drinking that because you can get very, very sick. And you can harm your body really, really bad. And you don't want to go to the hospital. That's not fun. It happens a lot. <laughs> it happens more than you think. Um, but if you bring your own things, go ahead, drink that. But if you are at a party that you don't know the people at and you don't know who made the punch, don't do it. Um, also, number nine, don't go to a party alone. I've done that before and one, it sucks. It's not fun because you're not with people you know. Two, it's dangerous. It could be really, really dangerous. And if you're, you know, if you're drinking, which you shouldn't be anyway, I don't. And um, if you are drinking, you like need to be very, very careful because there are some bad people out there and they could take you away. <laughs> even if you're a boy, even if you're a girl, you don't want to end up somewhere you, you shouldn't be. Um, you don't want to wake up on the street or wake up in the jail so <laughs> go out with people that you are friends with or don't go alone be with people that you trust and number 10 which is something that like is kind of obvious but like i didn't do personally is don't not talk to your advisor always talk to your advisor i didn't and oh my god there's so many things that i <laughs> should have talked to my advisor about when you get the option because during orientation you get an option to talk to your advisor and make sure you're on the right track for classes get to know them figure out who they are because if you don't you know do that you're not always going to be on the right track and you might fall off and not be at the right place that you might be and you don't want to be doing five years unless you are on a program that does that but you don't want to stay five years at college because that's a lot of extra money for you and your parents. Um, but just, yeah, make sure you talk to your advisor. Talk to your teachers, too. Just because, like, your teachers could actually, like, help you a lot. Um, even with grades, they, you know... If you're close with your teachers, it just, it just helps. Send them an email. Tell them, like, if you won't be there because you're sick, just send them an email. It's really not that hard and it makes you look a lot better than just like not showing up and like not sending an email at all. It makes you seem like, oh, I gotta make sure that I won't like, I was gonna be there but I can't just because I'm sick. It lets them know it's just the courteous thing to do. But yeah, that's 10 things not to do at Oneonta. If you guys wanna hear like a part two, cause I have so many things that I could probably say about this topic. Um, just like comment down below or like send me like a DM on Instagram or text me because I know a lot of you who watch are my friends but um yeah if you enjoyed this video just like leave a comment you know like subscribe it helps um